Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. And doesn't it start to feel like every day we're waking up in a bad movie? Like Invasion of the Body Snatchers? And we look around us and everybody has fallen asleep and been converted into something that they weren't before. Now, I uploaded this montage over the weekend and we are going to be looking at Invasion of the Body Snatchers from 1956. And this is all about the serpent who wants your soul. And the best the way that he can do that is by corrupting your flesh. Making your light go out and filling you with darkness. Now, for those that don't know... Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the movie, is all about an emotionless race of aliens who steal and impersonate humanity. And what they do is they clone them in their sleep. And then that kills the original person. And the process begins with a seed pod. This large seed pod that's left near the victims without their knowledge. And as the seed begins to gestate in the pod, it hatches a duplicate clone of the victim. And then it downloads their soul and the original dies. Now, once the victims realize what's happening, they fight as hard as they can to stay awake to avoid the conversion. And this is exactly what we're dealing with today, right now. We are fighting to stay awake because around every turn is deception and conversion to go along with the serpent's plan. Trying not to fall asleep to the deception. Now, these first seeds you're going to see here. This is Jimmy. And he's trying to convince the doctor and the nurse that his family has already been replaced by the aliens. And what you're going to notice here. Is old blue blood copper penny Lincoln hiding behind the bushes. And I now truly believe that Abe Lincoln was some kind of demon possessed reanimated clone. He had the whole serpent anaconda blockade of the South. Remember that? They showed a giant snake twisting around the southern part of the United States. And in plain sight, the guy was a clear racist saying that black shouldn't be equal and should never vote, should never have schooling. But yet, he somehow convinced the world that he was one of the greatest presidents who ever lived. Remember all the work we did on Lincoln with the time machine, the planet of the apes? He appears in that as well. And Pennywise, the it clown. Remember we tracked back Pennywise and his origins and found that he was born about the same year that Lincoln was born. This is real and they know it, which is why Lincoln is hiding in the bushes in this scene. Let's go ahead and play this, this volume up here. He's got the crazy idea she isn't his mother. She isn't. He's got the crazy idea she isn't his mother. She isn't. She isn't. Don't let her get me. And there's old Pennywise hiding in the bushes. Nobody's going to get you, Jimmy. <laughs> That's a good boy, Jimmy. All right, Jimmy. Open your mouth. Shut your eyes. In the words of the poet, I'll give you something to make you wise. I'm not going on here. You're going to stay at your grandmother's house. Would you call his mother and tell her? She knows my mother. All right, all right, all right, all right. What are you? Now, this less, this next clip here is from the 2019 series called The Passage, and of course, this was before CV19. But yet, what you're going to he hear and see is very chilling because it's happening right now. And this is all about vampire CV-19 pre-programming. And this is all about 
the symptoms, the VC rollout, and everything else, the quarantine, all the stuff that's happening right now. I do to her. Did you call his mother and tell her? All right, all right, all right, all right. What are you going to do to her? None of the existing vaccines are working. A bird flu pandemic is spreading in China. It's moving into the rest of Asia, and it'll be here in 60 days. Now, this next clip, and so this is from three different productions. This next clip is from a brand new film called The Boss Level. And this is about Osiris. This guy right here is Osiris. And he keeps repeating a single day over and over again, like hundreds of times, until he figures out and cracks the code as to why these people are trying to kill him. This is his ex-wife. And she puts his DNA into what's called the Osiris Spindle. A time machine. And so he has to keep repeating the same day over and over again. And he, in effect, becomes Osiris. And he has to rejoin the time machine and link it back up to the spindle by walking into it. Now, a spindle is a coil or a reeve. We solved the secret of the reaving. Reaving is coiling, coiled wire, coiled cable. And of course, coils are the shape of portals. And we're going to get into more of this in a minute. But let's play this here. Not about stopping, Roy. It's about restarting. Amy gets us there faster. Why? Because she's a child. Now, this next part of the passage is very chilling because they're looking for a cure to a spamdemic that is sweeping the planet. And they think that they can find the cure by using convalescent plasma from 12 vampires that they created from a single infected vampire. And their final experiment is to try it on a child because she won't be affected by the disease. Now, does this sound familiar? This is what we're going through right now. We're told that children are unaffected by CV-19, even though they won't let them go back to school. That we're told that they're unaffected. We heard it right from Bo Jiden's mouth. And what are they using as treatment? They're using convalescent plasma. Her central nervous system is more plastic. What we're doing could save millions. Now we're back to the boss level. And let's watch this play out here. I made your dimensions, your DNA specific to the missing mass within the spindle. So he's supposed to rejoin the spindle to get his mass back to it. The Osiris effect. We're going to get into that as well. How are you not in jail? She's getting the shot. That's what's happening. Now, do you want to hold her hand or you want me to take you back to your room? Jonas. They have to get the shot, right? We hear this over and over again. You guys, this is hiding in plain sight. How is it that people can still run cover and say it's still a choice when everything around us is creeping in every single week? They're encroaching more and more, putting more and more pressure. And just before all this happened, just before CV-19 arrived in the world, they had shut down all of the comment sections for all the news stories so that no one could protest what was happening or talk about how ridiculous some of these news headlines were. They were all shut off just months before CV-19 hit the world. It was like they were preparing. So now we have a one-sided communication with the media. There is no feedback anymore. Now in this scene, the doctor forgets his mask. Now his name is Jonah or Jonas. We talked all about Jonas. Didn't we just decode another film with Jonas in it? It was called The Giver. Wasn't his name Jonas? It was all about the water. The water is the conduit. Think of the water as the substance that passes through the portal. That's why we are made up mostly of water. But the final narrow gate, you can only pass through in the spirit. No more water. Now look at this. 
He's got the vampire's blood on his face. And she says, you forgot your mask. His blood is there. Your mask. Your mask. Your mask. Your mask. You have to enter the spindle's core. Then, theoretically, the time-space continuum should reset. Whatever I'm stuck in is called the Osiris Spindle. But somehow Gemma put me inside this thing and started it up. But why? She resurrected her dead husband, Osiris. Osiris became Lord of the Dead. And Gemma put me in the spindle to stop them. To stop Venter. She needs me to keep repeating this day until I do. In the afterlife. I'm Osiris. Wait for me, huh? So obviously this is CERN. And we're going to get into that. I got some videos of CERN. And what this is really all about. This is a portal. In a second here. Now, the side effects we are seeing come out from getting the V-scene, mostly in the UK, they're reporting these side effects, are changing eye color, loss of teeth, and we have the very same thing going on in the passage. Changing eye color, Losing your teeth. Now he pulls his tooth out in this particular instance because there's a tracker in it. This is in a boss level. So we have these common themes of teeth falling out. Okay. And here in the series, the passage, she actually loses her tooth as well. You're going to see that in the, another decode coming up later in the week from another montage. But as you saw, her eyes are changing color. Now, what is up with CERN and this CERN-like device from the boss level? So, Osiris has to enter what looks like CERN. And remember, CERN is a giant, twisting, spiraling Ouroboros. It's a portal. I pulled up this CERN video here. We're going to play just a few seconds of this. We can turn the sound off, I think. And you'll see that the particles actually do spiral. Here's one leg. This is the synchrotron booster. They send the particles into a spiral as it builds. It looks like it goes up three levels, four levels, before it shoots off into the next phase. Now, I think we were one of the first ones to discover that the entire layout of CERN forms a 666. As the particles come into the first level, that's a 6. It spins out into another 6. And finally, it spins out into a third 6. Let's see if we could pull that diagram up. Now, I know the CERN logo has a 666 in it. But it's important to understand that there are also three sixes in the the uh, the particle path, the path of the particles as they come out of these multiple. See here, this is probably a good a good one to look at. So first, the particles go around this six, then they come into a second six, and finally the large the large hadron collider around the outer ring. So there are three. And this is probably why they made the logo a 666. So now you understand reaving and spirals are portals. So what are they really doing at CERN? And why are they showing us this in terms of time travel and repeating time? Now, there is a theory that when you send particles close to the speed of light or matter for that, for that matter, a person traveling at hypersonic speeds, they've looked at atomic clocks. And when they landed the plane and compared it to atomic clocks on the ground, the, the clocks were off by a several seconds. Now, could this be a, an effect of the clock, some kind of effect on the clock and not the actual timeline? That's possible. 
But imagine if you had some kind of vehicle. Let's assume that, that yes, at the faster that you send something toward the speed of light, let's assume that it does change time. Well, let's say you had a vehicle that you could send through the Hadron Collider. That their timeline would then change. So maybe that's what they're trying to do here. Obviously, they're depicting this here in the film Boss Level. Let's keep going with this. Wait for me. So, the myth goes a little something like this. I'm Osiris. That Osiris was chopped up into 14 pieces by Set. And then put back together by Isis in 12 days. Now I think there's something to this. Because I believe that putting Osiris back together from the 14 pieces is really code for cloning. And I'll tell you why. Because when I researched cloning in the number 14... There were many, many studies that have the number 14 in the study with regard to cloning. So what do these two films or this film boss level and the passage have to do with one another? Well, you saw on the previous clip, Osiris has to pull his tooth out to find the tracking chip. And at the end of this, you'll see that his eyes begin to change colors. So there's this weird correlation or connection between vampires, V scenes and Osiris. And the only thing that I can think of is that the V-Scenes are somehow preparing humanity to be spiritless host clones, perfectly prepared for demon possession. What the hell? Here we go. Miles, where did they come from? I don't know. If they are seeds or seed pods, they must grow someplace on a plant, probably. Somebody or something wants this duplication to take place. But when they're finished, what happens to our bodies? I don't know. When the process is completed, probably the original is destroyed or disintegrates. But I don't know what will happen to you if you go in there. If I walk through this thing, is it going to reset? Are you and Joe going to be safe? You may not make it. You may cease to be. So the theme here is once the cloning takes place, that the original is destroyed. And now you're seeing the common thread or theme between all these different productions that I included in this montage. And this reminds me of that scripture about God saying that he would have to cut the last days short or else there would be no flesh left. I always think about that scripture and what it could possibly mean. Now. When you think about Osiris passing through the spindle, I imagine the camel passing through the eye of the needle, another biblical verse. And there's this strange thing because what is known is that the eye of the needle has been claimed to be a gate in Jerusalem, which opened after the main gate was closed at night. And a camel could not pass through the smaller gate unless it was stooped and had its baggage removed. 
These would be your material possessions. And so what does this mean? This eye of the needle, the smaller door. Well, I believe it's the narrow gate. Now, here's the strange thing. These gates into cities were also known as portals. In fact, many of them were arcs of triumph. Triumph and arcs. And we know that arcs are time travel portals. We've seen this over and over again. And so they had the two entrances, the one at night, which is the narrow gate and the main gate during the day. And at night, the main gate was closed and only the eye of the needle was opened. The goods cannot come through. So this is why in the Bible it says that it is harder for a rich man. It's our harder for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get to heaven. Let's see if I can find that verse here. Matthew 19. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, I verily I say unto you, the rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With Men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So, there are multiple mean meanings in this verse here. He's talking about a portal or a narrow gate to heaven. And the eye of a needle could be the eye being a portal, the window to the soul. And this is why CERN looks like an eye. They are trying to recreate a gate to try to storm the gates of heaven or get off this planet. Now, you saw many of you had asked the question about why I put Axel Rose in here. And what we do know is that many of these actors and politicians and people in power, I believe, are body snatcher clones. They're inhabited by demons. And their role is to influence the rest of us. What better way for Satan to influence the rest of us than by demon-possessing cloned beings that have no emotion? And this would be their empty vessel, um, an emotionless vessel, not inhabited by any spirit. It's empty, and the demon can then come into these people. And so this is why I put Axl Rose in here, because to me, he has the likeness of the actor in Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Now, several of you thought I was off on this one, and I could be, and that's okay. I don't know for sure that he's a clone, but I noticed some of these old 1920s, 30s, 40s, and 50s films and movies and things that they seem, there seem to be these actors that seem to reemerge in modern times. They look a lot like some of our modern actors. Keep watching here. But when they're finished, what happens to our bodies? I don't know. When the process is completed, probably the original is destroyed. Take a dim view of watching my own destruction take place. There isn't any danger until they're completely formed. We learned that last night at your house. Your blank didn't change right away. Not until you fell asleep. change does take place, do you suppose there's any difference? And there you see the eyes change. Again, there's that common theme. Now, what is this all about? Well, there's two types of reproduction. There's love and reproduction naturally. And then there's the unnatural. There's cloning 
with no emotion and no love. There must be. Wilma noticed it. So did little Jimmy. So did I. My father. We can't close our eyes all night. We may wake up changed to something evil and inhuman. I love Becky. Tomorrow will I feel the same? There's no need for love. No emotion. Keep your eyes a little wide and blank. Show no interest or excitement. Then you have no feelings. Only the instinct to survive. You can't love or be loved, am I right? It didn't last. So now you understand what is happening here. Loveless reproduction. Now you're going to hear her talk about this here. She says, I don't want a world where there's loveless reproduction. She says, I want children. I want your children. I don't want a world without love or grief or beauty. My brother died. Wait, no! Come on, we gotta no, go. No, wait, let him go. They'll never believe you. Oh, they'll never believe you. Oh, they'll never believe you. Listen, listen, more people are coming after me. They're not human. Help, help. Wait, stop, 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 and listen to me. Listen to me. Get out of here. Listen to me. We're in danger. Get out of the danger. Go on. Get out of here. So, we are the survivors. Just like this guy in Invasion of the Body Snatchers, trying to stay awake, trying to avoid detection, while warning as many people as possible about what is happening before our eyes. But very few people will believe us, and they think we're crazy. Why do you think that this agenda is being pushed upon us with the genders? It's so that they can come up with unnatural reproduction and push that. You're in danger, please! Get out of here! Oh, they'll never believe him. Oh, they'll never believe him. They'll never believe him. So, there you go. That's what's happening with the body snatchers. So, let's go into the chat here and see how you guys are doing. I didn't even check to make sure we were connected. I just assumed that we were because we typically stay on track here. Let's let this chat catch up. Now, one thing I forgot to mention was that Saturn has this spiral around its outer ring. And now we're beginning to understand what that means when we looked at the CERN connection. And how the CERN spiral was spiraling around. And now we can compare that to Saturn. And understand that that's probably some kind of evil portal. And that this could all be about demons inhabiting bodies throughout time. This is how they time travel. So let's go into the chat here. Uh, yeah, some of you guys were like, he doesn't even look like anything like Axl Rose. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I saw the connection. I just imagined that actor with long hair. And of course, Axl Rose doesn't look anything like he does now. Saturn equals Satan. Exactly. And so we'll be back on here tomorrow, you guys. We're going to do um, a live show tomorrow on some of the other trailers that we uploaded over the weekend. I love you guys, and I will see you soon.